Some college students think that they've automatically acquired or attained the level of knowledge that surpasses everybody else's. In this video, we're going to be checking out Candice Owens and Charlie Kirk schooling a college student that was super fired up. It's going to be interesting, or it might not be, depending on what you think about the views. Let's get to it. Thank you for being here. What's your name? Okay. Um... My name is Quinn Thomas, and one day I will be the president of the United States. Hey! hey. Big dreamer. Don't clap for me, because after I say what I have to say, y'all won't be clapping for me. Um, I came here not with the idea to yell or to protest or do any of that, because I just wanted to learn and hear what other people of opposing ideology had to say. Give them a round of applause for that. But, 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 but I thought I would be here at something more open where we could all have conversation. I felt like I was just being attacked, attacked every uh, 20 seconds with the language and the rhetoric that you guys uh, use. Like, like Candace, what? Like, like Candace, Candace, I feel like what for, for you, I feel like you can't even say anything about the... I don't know how it is in America, but the pointing is disrespectful in my country. Like you don't point to adults when you're talking to them. You don't point to anybody like candace like you don't do that and it's hard for me to take the video in i mean i had seen this part already but it's hard for me to take the video in while he's doing that you know it's like i'm judging him or my brain is judging him already so you don't do that i just advise people watching the younger people when you're addressing adults you don't do all those gestures i was just being attacked attacked every uh, 20 seconds with the language and the rhetoric that you guys uh, use, like, like Candace, what? like like Candace, Candace. I feel like what for for you. I feel like you can't even say anything about the you're preaching to the black community in a room full of white people. I was at an HBCU you're last night. You're preaching about the black I community in a room. I was at an HBCU last night. Well, take that message back to the HBCU. I already did. I did. It's, we'll it's take, live streams. Well, take it back. So take it so back. you're wrong. So you, so you just try to say something that's not true. We, you're trying no. to paint the room as if there's all white people here is not, and you're trying look, to make it seem like look, I'm look, afraid look. to go speak to my community, and look, you're wrong. Look, so Candace, that'll be shut Candace, down. Candace, Candace. I clearly know that you have t taken this message on the road to uh, HBCU. Last night. As I, learned, as I learned from you, because before today, I didn't know who you were. Um, but what I was saying was, Candace, is I don't feel like you could have that conversation here in a room full of white because people. Because of liberals. Because they kept why interrupting you, why us. Why do you feel See, like you we got... have to be segregated? Why but, do you but, feel but, like we have but, to be segregated but, from white people? But, but back to my question to somebody who I know, because Some I don't president. know you. Some future president. Donald Trump Jr. Yeah, Donald Trump Jr. My question is, how do you uh, support your father for the things that he said says he believes that you should grab women by the... He didn't say that. I want to say something. I want to say something. Let, let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. That's let me stop. a ridiculous question, it's first such and a ridiculous foremost. Because I'm sure you've never said anything. Are you mad? Are you mad? I'm sure. Stop. But you just call liberals let me, let me, bitches, right? But you're mad. You're mad. You're mad. First and foremost, actually, since we're bringing we up HBCU, talk. somebody asked this question and she asked, asked it respectfully because she wasn't, you know, she wasn't trying to be, um, get a bunch of attention, which is what you're trying to do right now. And she said to me, Candace, how attention. can you support, how can you support a president that said that, you know, um, he wants to grab one by the foot? First off, the, the, the left ran away with that and they changed around his words. He said specifically that there are women who would literally let them grab them by the foot. He did say that, correct? And I, I, I asked her a question back. I said, how bizarre is it that we are pretending, as, as people, especially in the black community, that listen to hip-hop lyrics, when all they do is talk about groupies, and how groupies will literally let men do anything to them. Basketball talk, stars talk about this, rappers talk about this in their music, Jay-Z talks about this, Beyonce talks about this in her music, about girls that try to be up on Jay-Z and her man. Now all of a sudden we're all going, oh, oh my goodness, I can't believe that men having a private conversation behind closed doors acknowledge the same thing, that there are women who act like that. So it's a fake question. You're acting like that's not something but that we all know. know. But do you he didn't know? say he was going to go around and grab women by the You've taken that and you've made something that's not real and it's not it's true. Okay. He never yeah, said that. that. There's also a double standard. Candace? Candace? There's also a double standard here because, by Candace? the way, anyone Candace? in this room, have any of you guys had a beer? No, no, all because right. I don't drink. So you guys, Texas, you guys are conservatives. So having a beer in high school or college would preclude you from public service later on in life. Basically but if you were the president yeah. and you were a liberal, 
You can blow lines all day long, and it's not a problem. His name That's is the Bill double Clinton. standard this is of what's out there. Like, this is, but this you is can why... do cocaine and be president, right. but if you're conservative, you can't have a beer. But this is why nobody identifies with the left anymore. They act like there's some angel princess. Oh, we would never say that about a groupie. Oh, we would never have a beer. The fact that he was drinking in high I school. Never... Nobody identifies them because of just this sort of a thing. Men in locker rooms can talk a certain way. By the way, women talk a lot worse than that. Let me tell you that, okay? Women talk worse than that, and they act like they're, they're, they're princesses and they can't believe that people can have real conversations behind closed doors. That's why your party's losing. <laughs> okay, um, so the kid said he didn't know Candice Owens before now. I feel like that was the first mistake he made. Um, you don't come out calling somebody out, especially if you don't know their strengths. It's like you're picking a fight with the enemy you don't know. <laughs> And that's why he got smoked. Secondly, I don't believe he came up with a question that is constructive and didn't understand the facts and also didn't get the he didn't get the whole picture of what um Donald Trump said. I'm not saying what Donald Trump said is right or wrong, but also you have to come with the facts and also build the facts, build around it. This is public speaking 101. When you're speaking to people who know more than you, they might not know the knowledge of books or information on the systems of what is in your syllabus in school more than you, but they know about life more than you. When you're speaking to them, you don't just want to come out and rant. You want to come out and be very technical, be submissive while asking very technical questions. That's when you win because then they can scream and raise their tone, but then they don't know the facts and then that's how you win. So already the kid, he... He didn't do well on this one. The question was off. The debate was not interesting. You came out to hold a mic just to ask about that. I mean, if you know about life, you should have understood the context of what that was. Whether you think it's right or wrong, at least you should have understood the context. Yeah, it was a, an interesting one. And he seemed very disrespectful from the tone. Like, that's just what I think. Very disrespectful from the tone. And that forced the adults now to try to be louder than you to suppress your voice because already you're like so you can't so and no 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 just stop that stop stop it anyways those are just my thoughts on this video <laughs> people are gonna say i'm very conservative and i'm supporting candice owens and the racist trump whatever you want to say but just watching this video with common sense i can already tell you that that interview for that kid or any other interview could have been anybody could have been I don't know, Ben Shapiro or Andrew Tate, the response would have been similar because of how he presented a question and the reaction he would have gotten needed a, a tone that's similar to what Charlie Kirk and Candice Owens responded. Anyways, let me know what you think about that. If there's anything you want to add, correct or critic, feel free to share and um, talk to us in the comment section. Smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.